Hey everybody, we are going to take a look at this 2009 Centurion Enzo SV230 that we have available for sale here, here at Boardco. It's a little cold and snowy out here today, you can see with the snow that we have on the boat. But um, looking around the outside, this boat is black, uh, silver, metal flake, and two blue. Um, as you can see here on the outside, it is in fantastic condition, uh, especially for a 2009 boat. Um, Going through here on the outside, only a couple little tiny minor scratches like this guy, but that's pretty much it. Um, otherwise, they're, it's in absolutely killer shape. Um, going back through, looking at the boat, uh, this boat is equipped with a switchblade wake enhancement system. Adds about 1,500 pounds of downforce here at the back end um, that flows along with the flow of the rudder. Fantastic option that um, that people absolutely love back in this model year um, and is a fantastic feature, particularly for wake surfing behind the boat. Uh, simulates ballast and makes it so you don't have to add nearly as much ballast into the boat or you can go with additional ballast and have just even that much better of a surf wave. But that's one of the reasons why this Enzo 230 is considered uh, to be one of the best uh, wake surf boats you can possibly get uh, for a for a boat that is a 2012 or earlier. Uh, one other great feature on this boat, as you can see, it's got a lot of V here at the back end. Um, a lot more V than you would typically come to expect with a, with a lot of uh, tow boats. This V is a wake surf specific hole. This Enzo is the, it has been renowned as having the best surf, surf uh, hole of any of any boat up until the, the newer generation of tow boats. But if you're looking for a boat that is uh, approximately $50,000 or under, you just cannot go wrong or find a boat that is gonna surf any better than this. Also happens to wakeboard and water ski fantastic as well, but it's gonna deliver a killer surf wave and a fantastic rough water ride. Uh, going down here, looking through the outside of the boat here on the other side, uh, like I said, just um, in fantastic shape. Um, not really seeing any scratches or dings or anything like that. Um, tiny little scratch right there that can actually probably be buffed out. Um, stepping up here into the inside of the boat. You can see this guy is in absolutely beautiful shape on the inside. Uh, no tears, no splits in the upholstery, anything like that whatsoever. Um, it is, this boat has been garage stored the entire life of the boat with the exception of just the time it's here at our dealership now. Um, but it is an absolutely gorgeous condition all the way through. We got a tiny bit of snow from getting the covers off, but um, it's in just killer shape all the way through the boat. Most of the time in 2009 boats like this, you end up seeing some split seams, some other things like that where this boat is just is in absolutely fantastic condition. You have snap-in carpet that is here all through the inside of the boat um, with full fiberglass lined uh, with all uh, gel coat lined fiberglass interiors all throughout. Uh, you can see this boat has the your dash system right here with your ballast pumps or ballast uh, tanks that are all right here on the side. Uh, just simply pump in, pump out ballast. Uh, this boat is equipped with four ballast tanks, so it's set up ready to rock and roll with surfing. Uh, with hard ballast tanks, those tanks can be swapped out for soft sacks if you really want to um, increase the weight that you can put in the boat and have a have a truly professional level surf wave. Uh, but this boat is going to deliver a killer um, wave setup, particularly with that switchblade system. Um, Right here on the right side, you have the uh, Merc Cruiser Smart Tow uh, GPS-based cruise control system in the boat. Uh, it's an extremely accurate uh, control that also is, features a digital throttle, um, like what you see on, on some of the newer Centurion models. Uh, it's going to d deliver precise cruise control, as well as uh, information about all of the other systems on the boat, from your fuel economy to... Um, just all of the other different things throughout the boat. We also have analog gauges to go along with it. Um, you've got a nice depth gauge that sits right there. And uh, all of your other uh, toggle switch controls, your uh, stereo system remote that sits right there in the dash. And then you also have your main stereo head unit that is right here in the glove compartment in the boat. So uh, this boat has a 
has a, a really large storage compartment in here um, that delivers tons of space um, with a battery isolator unit um, and Optima battery, which is um, kind of the, the, the Cadillac of boat batteries. It's fantastic. Um, storage in the rear storage lockers. Um, this boat's also got the Merc Cruiser 350 DTS Scorpion motor, which delivers tons of power. Great motor for kicking out a, a fantastic surf wave or wakeboard wake. Just performs fantastic um, all the way through. This boat's equipped with the Evolution Tower that's quick and easy to collapse. Just has these two toggles, um, toggle bolts here in the top that you just undo those and the whole tower will drop right down. Uh, swivel Samson board racks. Uh, this is the bimini top for the boat right here that just sits here inside. Um, flip up uh, driver's seat with a bolster that just pops right up like that so you can sit up nice and high. Um, Built-in cooler going up in here in the walkway. Um, bow fill cushion, this guy, you can pop that out if you want to have a, a seating area, but really large bow here in the boat. Plenty of room for at, at least uh, two or three people. Uh, possibly more, but you can sit and lounge out and have tons of bow space in this boat. This boat also has a modified uh, front end bow. So it gives you a lot more space than a traditional bow boat um, and is also a really easy to keep up out of the water, which is definitely a concern on some of these older tow boats is that they'll take water in over the front really easily where this Enzo 230 will not. It will stay up out of the water um, really well. So uh, it's a beautiful boat, as you can tell. It's um, in pristine condition inside and out. Um, fantastic boat that is going to be a um, one of the very best surf boats you can possibly get uh, that's in this price range and this year range. So uh, give us a call for more information. Come down and take a look at it, and we'll be happy to show it to you. Thanks a lot.